What is up, guys? Jared 3 3 um, Like, follow, share. I'm going to go visit my friend Horacio and Jessica in Harlingen. Let's go. Well, Horacio doesn't want to be recorded, though. What is up, guys? I'm here with my friend Jessica. Borman, go subscribe to her channel right now. She's going to do a lot of new videos, a lot of new content, you guys. Um, basically, basically, new content creator. Yes, Jessica Borman. I just started my new YouTube channel two weeks ago, so follow me. <laughs> Let me take a sip. Hold on. Okay. So um, I'm here with Jessica Borman. So she is actually an expert on uh, s paranormal experiences. So have you ever? Uh, so what kind of experiences have you ever had in, uh, in your life? Actually, growing up, I've never had any experiences up until the point when my son got taken away, oh. and I was literally depending on alcohol a lot. I would drink bottles and bottles of alcohol every day. Mm -hmm. So when I stopped doing that, I started seeing hallucinations and seeing okay. demons and seeing all this kind of stuff. So, yeah, I'm a true believer in that. And since people didn't know what was wrong with me, um, I, I was taken to a mental hospital. And? Where they di diagnosed me with schizophrenia, by the way. Which I don't... I was misdiagnosed. I don't have schizophrenia, but it was the alcohol. But yeah, I, I got the chance to to experience a lot of paranormal shit. Cool. And what happened for me? Like something very similar happened to me. I started mm -hmm. witnessing like all kind of crazy things. But for me, what what triggered me? Because I call them triggers. Yeah, true. What triggered me was weed. Weed, really? Yeah. And wow. Then, like, and I went to the psych ward. You did? Yeah, oh, yeah, a buddy yeah. of mine. We've been to psych works together. <laughs> yeah, we have we been connect. like two or three times. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I was seeing a lot of things in the psych ward too. Did you see anything in the psych yes, ward? Like, so, like, like, the, like yes. in the psych ward? <laughs> yeah. Like, it's psych. worse. It's worse. It's worse in the yeah. psych ward. Uh, like, what happened with you? And like, I'll tell you. What the mean. psych wards? Oh my God. Like, I would see images, like, every time I would, they would put you to sleep, you were only, by like, in your room, you would see images of shadows, yeah. of just, like, you know, people with horns and stuff yeah. like that, and demons, I was like, what the fuck am I, and I, and I was medicated, I was yeah. like, what the fuck are they giving me, I was, I was scared, I was, like, literally run out of my, out of, your, out, out of my room, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and all the other people there were, were there for drug addicts, for yeah. rehab, yeah. And I was hearing voices. And I was hearing voices, I too. Remember, I remember lying in bed. And I remember lying in bed, and I remember, like, they're like, what's wrong with him? Why doesn't he get up? You know, like, walk around. One of the main voices that I heard was my ex-husband. Yeah. His voice just, like, stuck by me, like, you're doing this wrong. Or why are you doing this? It's like, that's the voice that I heard. But yeah. I never heard, heard, like, mean voices, like, evil voices or nothing like yeah. that. I was hearing three voices outside of my like dorm room, and they were like, "What is he doing? Like, why isn't he? Where? What is he doing? Like, how come he's not getting up? Like, well, how come he's not walking around?" And I hear them talking, and I was like, "Remember, freezing my ass off. And it's so <laughs> it's cold. cold in there, and the showers are so, so cold. cold. Yeah. yeah." And they would come, and then when they would go in the room, they would give me a razor blade, so they would have to watch me. Because like yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, they would have, have to, to watch shave me, me too. You have to shave in front of them because they gotta watch you shave so you don't uh, cut yourself. Yeah, that's what they do. <laughs> yeah. they do and then watching and like it feels like you're in prison, but this prison is worse than prison. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah, it is. And I haven't been in the stack work for four years, thank God. Yeah, I haven't I been. Know, I haven't been a lot in a couple years too. I want to say <laughs> five, five or six years maybe. Yeah. So. I mean, I did learn a lot. I did learn some things from there, uh, and you, you also you also meet other people there that are like higher levels of like exactly. schizophrenia or whatever, whatever, like higher levels of, a, of like, demons. Was I like that when I was sick? <laughs> oh yeah, God. you meet higher levels of people that are like they want stuff it's like from you. Kind of embarrassing. They want, yeah. Yeah. They want. They want. Yeah. So I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy. Cause I remember, I remember when before I went in there, I thought it was Jesus at one point. Me too. You did. I felt like when <laughs> I, I, was married, no I, I was married. No joke. When I was married, I was in my apartment. I was with Trixie, and I told my ex husband, "He was like, Jesus is with me." Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my 
<laughs> yeah, and then at one time I thought I was Moses. And I'm like, yeah. what in the hell? I was like getting a, st- a stick as my staff, like walking around, like exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it was crazy. I man. really thought Jesus was in the world. Like, really, I I yeah, saw visions really believe- of Jesus. So, hold on, I'm gonna start over because like, so I had to cut the video because I have to like so much space in the video. Um, and when I use, because I use the, the, the platform that's like over over there. I use the platform, I have to cut the video. So anyways, yeah. Um, I thought it was Jesus. But you know the weirdest thing? When I thought it was Jesus, I was in the hospital. I wasn't in the uh, in the ward at the time. And there was a guy, he had a, literally a scar on his head, like right here. He had a scar on his head. Where and... have you been all my life? <laughs> <laughs> traveling, traveling. Gosh, well, I feel well, like I've I'm connected real. with you like so much in so many levels. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you know, it, he had a scar right here on his head, and then I healed him somehow, <laughs> he healed and him. He, it went away. The scar went away, <laughs> but it went away though. Yeah, that's what really freaked me out. It went away. It went away. The scar went away. You know, and the first time I I came to, I was in Memphis. My ex husband bought a ticket. To go see my mom and before the day i went back to memphis my mom took me to the hospital because i was saying like random shit and like the whole time i was in the hospital but i saw jesus in the ceiling yeah like just like healing people like several people i was like yeah. oh my god jesus is here yeah you know like and this is not i'm not making this up these are really visions that came out of me you know, I I believe in the paranormal, and I do truly think it exists. Like, no joke. Yeah, for sure. And no, I know it does. Like, if you've seen everything I see, even yesterday, okay, I'm taking a shower, right? I told I told my subscribers, when I was in Las Vegas, I seen two orbs flying, like floating outside of the shower. Yeah. Curtains. And they can't see me or you because the shower curtains is like, when you're looking at the shower curtains on the outside... You can't see in. But when you're looking from the inside outside, you can see everything. Mm-hmm. You can see shadows. And so I seen like two orbs moving back and forth and they go into the wall. Yeah. Yesterday I was taking a shower and I seen a line, like, mm-hmm. you know, basically moving no, around. No, 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 no. I seen a line, um, you know, moving when I'm in the shower. So, yeah, yeah that was crazy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so back where we were at, um, since t- 2011 to 2016, I was in the psych ward. Um, usually because I was just being dumb. Um, I wasn't being smart enough. Um, I relied a lot on alcohol. Because my son got taken away, so that was pretty much it, why I was, as soon as I quit that, I was, you know, seeing a lot of things, seeing a lot of bad things, hearing voices, you know, alcohol is one of the dangerous drugs that you can ever consume, because alcohol withdrawals are the worst, and I know this for a fact because I've experienced that for myself, and now that I'm not an alcoholic, I don't go through stuff like that I mean it's been four years I mean I drink socially but I haven't been to the psych ward in in four years you know so I'm doing pretty good so yeah yeah. I haven't been like like I said like in six five seven years or so and I've been doing good and one of the things that I was taking that I went the second time there it was synthetic it was like the synthetic um, I think like weed or so and one of them was called um, Scooby Doo Snacks, and I would go <laughs> in the Pokemon. Oh my God! Something that yeah. I would never do is weed. Never in my life. <laughs> yeah, and I and I went to the, the store. Okay, not even a, a store. regular store. It's called Pokey's Planet, and at Pokey's Planet, I would buy this this synthetic Scoo. called. It'll make you paranoid. Yeah, super paranoid. Super. <laughs> I was driving my car. I'm surprised I didn't crash so many times. You know oh, why? my God. Because I said there was a bug crawling on my leg. And I'm driving in the freeway, and there's a bug on my leg. Ah, like, <laughs> while I'm driving. Like, there's so many times that I should have crashed and didn't. 
and yeah. you know what I'm saying and uh, you know thank God I'm alive right now because there was uh, there was some other times one of my coworkers had given me it was um, basically muscle relaxers <laughs> and uh, you're not supposed to take you're not supposed to take muscle relaxers while you're driving. Yeah. And I took them. <laughs> oh my God. I took them before I went to work. I was like, uh, like I, <laughs> I was driving, and I didn't want to hold on to the steering wheel, so I was like, uh, and I dropped my hands. <laughs> oh my yeah, God. oh my God! And I, I'm like, I have to drive. I have to. Drive. Oh no, I don't. I, and I didn't want to use my muscles. I mean, <laughs> yeah. And then even the, for the a muscle relaxer. Yeah, even for the gas, I wouldn't. I didn't want to press on the gas. Nothing, because of the muscle relaxers. But yeah, it was bad. Man. Now you can go